Would you like a cup of tea? Hello, I'm Richard and I wanted to give a little tutorial about making a Dalek voice using Audacity on a Macintosh. Um, I'm doing this because all the techniques I found were used plugins that would only run on the Windows operating system. So I found one that will work on the Mac and uh, hopefully should work on Windows too, it's cross-platform. Um, so the, the plugin I'm using is a fairly standard Audacity one uh, called Ving Modulator, VingMod.ny, one of the Nyquist effects by David R. Sky. You can find this on the Audacity website, um, wiki.audacityteam.org, wiki Nyquist effect plugins, and look for Ving Modulator. I'll also put this link in the description. So you need to download this and you'll get the file ringmod.ny and you need to install that in your plugins folder. And on my computer that's in my users folder under library application support audacity plugins. It might be different on your computer uh, but you should be able to find that fairly easily. Um, first thing uh, is that the vocal technique is quite important. Um, that if you just talk in a normal voice, if you just put the um, audio effects on it, it's not going to sound like a Dalek. It's going to sound different, but it's going to sound like um, a human talking through a strange filter. So you've got to get your vocal technique right. I'm no expert, but I've played around with this for a couple of hours and I think I've got um, something that should work okay. Um, so people often think Daleks um, have no emotion, um, but actually they do, that in the, in the story they feel hate. They have no other emotions, but they still feel hate, and they're very emotional about, about their hate. Uh, they're also very uptight, and so that gets reflected in the voice. So what I've been doing is have a, a quite tight mouth, um, so your mouth barely moves, it's kind of like being a ventriloquist. And I found this if I do a fourth smile with the edges of my mouth pulled right up tight and my lower uh, jaw barely moves and it gives quite a nasal sound. So it's kind of talking like this. And um, the Daleks, the pitch rises during their sentence as they get more and more excited. So like, exterminate, exterminate, exterminate! And also, if you can do it, uh, the pitch often rises during a word, almost like a question, where you kind of raise the pitch towards the end of the word, like, exterminate! Um, so if you can kind of uh, reflect that in the voice, that can help and you can you want to break up long words into separate clipped syllables to make it sound more robotic um, so let's do um, a kind of an example sentence and I'll record it both in a normal voice and a more Dalek-y voice to show what the difference is um, when you apply the uh, the audio effects so here we are in Dusty so we'll just start recording so alien life form detected exterminate 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 Alien life form detected! Exterminate! 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 And um, uh, now we'll um, try uh, applying the audio effects. Now I've got a macro that, um, uh, that will apply it automatically. We'll go into what that involves in a moment. But um, we'll just hear what these, um, what these uh, the two different voices do. So the normal voice. Alien life form detected. Exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. So you see that sounds just like me but with a silly filter. Alien life form detected. Exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. And that sounds much more like a Dalek. So, um, so that's what we're trying to achieve here. So uh, let's undo the, the effects and I'll delete my um, uh, my ordinary voice um, and I'll show you how to apply the um, the audio effect to the waveform. So we're going to go to the effects menu and ring modulator. If that doesn't appear that's because you haven't installed the plugin correctly. Um, so look at the Audacity help file for how to add plugins. Um, you might need to do an add remove plugins to get it to detect it. You certainly need to restart Audacity after putting it in the folder. Um, 
Anyway, so we do ring modulator. Um, now, ring modulator is what they developed in the 1960s, using the 1960s for the Dalek voice, and it's just um, changing the the volume of the um, the audio very very quickly using a sine wave, and you tell it the frequency of this that this wave goes up and down, and the type of modulation we're doing is a sine wave, which is zero here um, I'm using 30 Hertz 30 times a second you can play around with this uh, the original Daleks used 20 Hertz I believe in the 1980s I think they were using more like about between 40 and 50 Hertz and I've seen other people doing Dalek voices and they're using 80 Hertz when I looked at the waveforms of what they used but I found that didn't really work well with my voice um, so play around with this and find out what works best with your voice so I'm using 30 here so we do a preview of this you'll see alien life form detected exterminate exterminate ex so I think that works quite well if we put it at 20 it's more like the 1960s Daleks Alien life form detected! Exterminate! 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 Uh, if we go up to maybe something like 45, it's probably a bit more like the 1980s Daleks. Alien life form detected! Exterminate! Exterminate! Um, and we could go up to 80, but I don't think this works with my voice personally. Alien life form detected! Exterminate! Exterminate! But you might be, if you've got the right voice for it, that might work quite well. But I'm going to leave it at 30 because I think that's um, that's quite well for me. Um, which is what we heard. Alien here. life form detected. Um, now this still this is going up up and down quite a lot in um, uh, in amplitude, whereas the Daleks are quite clipped and quite distorted. So we're going to use add another effect on top of that, which is the distortion. This is built into Audacity. And um, and we're doing hard clipping, which is going to clip the top and bottom off the waveform. And I left these as all the defaults that came up from Audacity, but it's minus six uh, decibels clipping level, and these left at 50 uh, 50 percent. Um, I don't really know what these are, but it gave me quite a good sound. So we apply that, and you'll see we've got a much more clipped sound now. Alien life form detected. Exterminate! 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 So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, it's worth noting sometimes you um, you get like an intake of breath uh, as you're gearing up to make the um, make the speech. So here, so it's worth um, just sort of getting rid of these bits by um, uh, silencing those, and then you get kind of a straight alien up. life form detected. Exterminate! 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 Um, and just for the icing on the cake, you can um, um, add in maybe like a Dalek spaceship sound underneath, um, so that um, uh, you've got that Dalek sound behind the speech. Gives it a bit more kind of a uh, um, of the uh, the right feel. Alien life form detected! Exterminate! 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 Uh, which is quite a good finished effect. Uh, so I'll just finally I'll just show you how to create this macro so that you can repeat this easily. I'll just do undo all those. We go back to our original waveform. Um, so you go to the tools menu and macros. Uh, make sure you've got the latest version of Audacity because this uh, wasn't in the older versions. Uh, I've already got the Dalek macro there, but we'll create a new one called Dalek 2 to show you how you create this. And then we want to insert in this macro, and we want to search for ring modulator in the list of commands. Uh, ring modulator, and it automatically inserts all the parameters you last used. So if you got it to the effect that you liked when you did it manually, it's put in the um, uh, those parameters in there. So we can just use those. And then we want to insert another step, uh, which is distortion. And again, it's, uh, it's selected all the parameters that we used before. So we add that in, and then we can do OK. And now if we select this waveform, go to Tools, Apply Macro, Dalek 2, and we've got our, our voice um, done um, for us. Exterminate! 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 
that's a quick way of getting a Dalek voice on Audacity on the Mac and then hopefully Windows too.